Hello and greetings my fellow Long Darkins, and welcome to the Long Dark Gameplay number 98. Now I know it's been quite some time since we've uh, done one of these episodes and I do apologize, uh, copyright strike uh, ongoing. I actually did film a, a lot of episodes ahead but uh, just some of the content wasn't current anymore so I'm actually scrapping that. Uh, just cause yeah that copyright strike would be going on a while so I've not been able to bring you a Long Dark Gameplay. Since I tend to do these, it runs a little bit longer than uh, what I'm currently able to upload until this strike is lifted. Yes, once again, thank you to Digital Lighting Studios for, for being a dick. Alright guys, actually right now we're up at Signal Hill. Uh, I'm about 136 days into this current run. I came out here, we spent a couple days just uh, looking at the stars at night uh, up on Twitch. Which is actually yeah, really nice, don't get to see this... Uh, we spend a lot of time surviving. We don't usually go get out too much at night. It's a little bit dangerous, but get my lantern over here. Yeah, you hear that rustling of the fence there? Ah, uh, definitely nice uh, aesthetic sound there. Let's get out here. I want to try to give you guys good view, so we don't catch another blizzard here. See the farmstead down below. I'm hoping much visually, but I I do say uh, the best view in the game right now, definitely up here from Signal Hill. Uh, yeah, forestry lookout is second, and uh, uh, the abandoned lookout and coastal highway would be a third. Uh, but we do have a map, a new map, uh, a bunch of other surprises, big update, big update coming out uh, in just a few weeks here. Yeah, so I'm uh, very excited for that. Yeah, I haven't really gotten super deep into this run because I'm just kind of waiting. I A lot of times with the new big updates I've been actually just uh, starting a new game uh, for a simple basis. We want to keep it bug free. We want to get all, make sure we get all the good content. So I do recommend, yeah, usually when you get a new thing I know it's tough. I know it's tough starting a new run like that. It does affect I haven't got a really long run going in a while because we keep uh, starting a new game. Uh, but the game will be finished in a couple months here so we will uh, be able to get into a very, very, I'll do a very, very long run. I'll test my sanity there. It would be a little nicer if it wasn't snowing so much, but... Man, what a great job uh, Hinterland's done on the snow here. I'm just going to turn this off. And backwards. It's a little warm. It's about negative 12. That's not too bad. Should take a look at the current clothes and everything I have right now. We'll warm up by the fire here. Well, yeah, lots of, a lot has happened since uh, the last episode. Uh, I've actually done a charity marathon. I think I've done about two marathons since then. I did also did a charity marathon, which uh, special props to Hinterland Studios for helping us out. Uh, they did uh, chip in, I think it was about 160 bucks total they did give uh, for charity for helping out uh, Safe Hands Rescue. So, so far for the year, we have saved about uh, 30 to 40 puppies. I think it's about 40. It's about 40 uh, so far. So that, that is pretty awesome, guys. That is pretty awesome. Right, got about two hours left on that fire. Quite nice. I had to come in a little bit earlier because it was a blizzard. It actually was alright. I think it was the end of the stream, though. We were actually... Uh, this barrel does not go out. Uh, it didn't seem to go out even during the blizzard with the wind was coming our way. So that was actually pretty cool. Actually being able to sit uh, nice in a blizzard and still be warm. Quite nice. Okay, let's actually get to my clothes here. Yeah, the deer skin boots could little use a little bit of work, but man, deer hide. I actually ended up uh, running a couple deer into wolves, uh, killing more than I'd really I'd like to. Uh, I've got an insane amount of meat, but I really did not want to. Uh, I really needed to repair those up. They actually took a a lot of abuse over the days, you know, collecting firewood and uh, the like. Actually, that too could use a little bit of work. It's actually, we'll repair that while we have it. Okay. Quite well. Well. 
attempting to do. Maybe I'll get a little bit of uh, water out of this. Why we're just while we're at it. I've actually got I dropped some water inside because I actually did pack up for a couple days up here. We'll probably head back down to the house though tomorrow. because uh, I do have some things I want to show off. Let's get about later in here. Another big thing to talk about, if possible, man, I'm not really sure it'll be in this update, but I have a good feeling it might be. Uh, Survivor AI. Uh, might be finally making its appearance pretty soon. Uh, cause the testing team was talking about how it'd be about necessary at this point, uh, with the big update and all the stuff they're doing, so. Very possible. I do have a character that will be in one of the Survivor AI. So, uh, that's gonna be, uh, pretty, uh, nice to see. You might just have a chance to kill yours truly. I would. I know a lot of people looking forward to that. Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm wasting that though. So I've got a little bit of a fog on. Oh, let's go get two liters, I guess. I'll be cutting it close, but. Let's get that done. I'll sleep a couple hours and we'll head out. I think, yeah, that's that's fine. I'll take that for firewood with me in the morning. I can let the fire go though. I've actually got plenty of water at the house, so it's not an insanely big deal. And I haven't really touched too many items uh, in the game still. I've tried not. You know, I don't like to ever uh, open anything and start the decay timer or anything, so we do not try to touch stuff. If we can avoid it. We'll have some good, uh, Chester cooked meat there. I have an insane amount of meat right now. It's, uh, it's kind of gotten out of hand. Okay, we got about... Well, let's just go about seven hours. I still want to just try to be semi-productive today. I do want to make sure we heal up. We won't get quite a good healing in this bed, but... Uh, we'll get the job done. Okay, three liters on me. I do believe I have some meat stored up here. Um, I might actually just leave. I, I carried a bit extra water because I had to plan to spend a couple days up here. But uh, we'll head back. Might just leave that there. Just in case. Because I'm sure with being on Twitch and everything, I'm sure I'm going to come back at some point. I did just only open one drawer. Uh, just to put stuff in. Other than that, I have not touched anything up here. Don't really plan to. Um, but I do want to put that lantern back here, too. There we go. Leave that there. We'll hope for some nice weather here. Negative one. That's actually that's actually pretty nice. <laughs> that's a warm sunny day in Canada here. Oh, come on. Sometimes that stick gets in the way. It seems. All right. Got some nice fur just for repairing uh, tools. Uh, definitely that hatchet is seeing a lot of use now uh, with forging wood and all that. Another thing I talked about, I haven't mentioned, uh, they didn't nerf the base temperature of fires. There's actually a limit now. It's about 123 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, max. Even though if you get multiple fires started, they did find out. You know, we usually do that 2 a.m. Uh, bonfire, uh, during marathons, and I could not actually raise the temp above 123 degrees, so. Kind of took the fun out of that. Uh, I guess I see why they nerfed that, but... Aww. I was really hoping to t uh, top a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, but there's only so much one one can do, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the farm. Oh, we'll pick up any sticks on the way, though. I don't really need firewood, but it pays to stay active. Yeah. Nice weather out though today. This isn't too bad. On the side here. Shouldn't be too much wolf trouble out here. 
Uh, interesting. Uh, Rash you, Hinderland was actually tweeting some of the t uh, statistics uh, for the game. Uh, causes of death and whatnot and everything. And I'm like, yeah, best people uh, dying to wolf. It's been quite some time since the wolf has gotten me myself. You always do preach your boy and it's just uh, using your head. It's a... Uh, this game pretty much just boils down to common sense at the end of the day. Just uh, always have a plan. Uh, know the risk. Uh, don't only... Uh, of course, that stuff will eventually happen, though. But just be prepared, be ready. There's pretty much nothing you can't survive in this game, for the most part. So maybe multiple bear attack. Other than that, you know, you'll be fine. Heading back to the road here, and then we'll be back uh, to the farmstead. Probably a piece of cedar limb, we'll have to see. Oh, it is fur. Nice. Okay, I well, I'm definitely going to go for it then. Yeah, 45 minutes. Th three pieces of fur firewood, which is actually pretty dang good. And it's going to be a blizzard because I harvested something in stalker mode. That's what happens when you're outside, I swear. Okay. All right. We're going to make for home, then. Oh, I am... Just, I only need a little bit. Okay, exactly. Exactly 30 kilograms. Oh. Okay, we're not too far from the road. Can't pick up that stick. I could actually just drop the wood, but I think we're alright. I'm not giving up the fur. Come on. Walk to the left. And we'll just stick to the main entrance because that's about the easiest way to find it. I had a blizzard. Actually, it can become quite easy to get lost sometimes, but we'll stick to the road. Uh, all our little landmarks here, we should be fine. Did we get any mail today? Oh, oh no, it is Sunday. I forgot. Or maybe tomorrow. Okay. I don't want to burn out that... I really do say the sprint for emergencies. Even though this does technically qualify as a little bit of emergency. We're taking cloth damage the longer this goes on. Not too far off. Just with blizzards and fogs, it makes it seem like it's really a lot farther than it normally is. So it's really a cool effect, I think. Ah, there we are. There's the car. You can see here, I did start the, the usual marathon bonfire, but I did stop after a while because it was not uh, viable anymore just to keep making fires. I did get up to Signal Hill and see it though. It was actually kind of uh, breathtaking to see that big of a fire. Actually, I'm just going to drop this. We've actually got, just got some outside firewood here. A little bit outside. Uh, this is actually what's left from the dam. I actually took all those pallets, you know those pallets outside in the transition area. There's about two to three hundred pieces all together in the dam and outside. I did actually bring all those out for the bonfire. We've actually been kind of living off that for a bit. Then I will go into the house here if you've not seen that. I actually, uh, we did find it interesting. I did actually, uh, break down this entire house. Uh, everything inside, the cloth and everything. We, we came over about, uh, probably close to 100 cloth inside. A couple pieces, 100 pieces of, uh, reclaimed wood. I didn't grab anything in the basement because I don't think it was really necessary, but you know, we still got quite a bit of reclaimed wood. Bunch of sticks. And I'll drop some more sticks, actually. Nah, I've only got, I've got nine. That's okay. But yeah, quite, uh, not as a Trapper's Homestead I actually did uh, break down in the beginning of the run. Uh, that actually gets pretty bleak, bleak, uh, bleak and depressing. 
Yeah, it really does. Yeah, I was kid was like, man, I'm depressed just living here now. Just like a bed and that's it. Oh. Uh. See, this room isn't too bad when you break stuff down. It's still got some basic furniture and stuff, so it's not too bad. Kitchen is a little depressing. Uh, yeah, a little bit, definitely. Actually, I'm gonna put this, uh, away. Put that away. Bathroom here. I always forget to pick up that cloth, too. Okay. Kind of depressing. Reminds me of my first apartment. Oh. Uh, and that radio will probably be fixed in the next update. They had some objects that they, uh, will stand up like that after you take something down. It's, uh, not a lot, though. It's not that I would call a game-breaking bug or anything. Yeah, this room isn't so bad, either. This room one isn't so bad. Yeah, this, likewise, this bathroom, not so bad. You can't get any of those curtains yet. And they actually were working on the rugs and everything, but they couldn't quite get the, uh, that finished in time. So we probably will be seeing that. I, I don't really think it's necessary, but it is realistic. I'll be able to break down those rugs and stuff for extra cloth. Okay, still the creepiest picture in the game. That's all right. This one didn't get too bad either. This, uh... Ramshackle, but not horrible, horrible. And here, a little bleaker, but not, you know, horrible either. Alright, I'm actually gonna container my clothes a little bit. Try to save a little bit on the daily wear and tear. I don't have a snare or anything going right now, because as you'll see, I'll show it off a little more. Go downstairs. I've actually got how much bullets do I have? That's Sixteen. I can actually get about about twenty-five bullets right now. And then some matches that are in a uh, getting a little depressing. How those bad those are going? But I've not touched. Like I said, I've not touched a lot of the map. So plenty, plenty more to go around. I'm not really worried too much yet. Yeah, Cause I've got about 35 kilograms in here. Got 16 actually. I'll bring a couple over here. I'll keep this organized. About 42 kilograms. I don't know if I have any more. I'll keep all the canned goods and stuff here. Make sure I get that by condition. All the canned goods and everything here. Yeah, so we got about 42 kilograms of meat. Not too shabby. How's our water situation? That, that's not bad. It's not a huge batch. I don't usually make as big as batches as I used to. Uh, I just try to conserve. Uh, you just can't YOLO the firewood anymore. Uh, so I don't get to get quite as big batches. I probably should, but... I guess I actually head out. Give you an update on the downstairs. Uh, where all my crafting and everything is going on. I don't think we have a lot of curing right now. So actually, we're just out here checking the, what I've got curing. I only got some, uh... Bird saplings that I did find. I actually thought I'd already gotten them out there. Uh, but behind the red barn up in that uh, birch tree forest in the back there. I did find some more uh, bird saplings. Not that I really needed it, but... Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of an audio bug. You can hear it. It's like Everything will be like dead quiet. And it'll actually go a little bit around the house. But eventually you will, once you get out... So it's a little weird. It's one of those little things you notice. I think you really can't notice or anything at uh but no to notice at night. Uh when there's some clouds actually. There's more more dust, not quite uh total nightfall yet. The clouds were actually the clouds actually moved. 
which was, uh, as you can actually notice it right here. Uh, just pay close attention to the mountains there and see the clouds. Yeah, just uh, one of the things you don't ever stop and really uh, pay attention to. Yeah, look how awesome that is. I mean, really, uh, that is something. It's just a little thing that you just never really paid too much attention to that during uh, you know, the first 800 hours of playing, but you just, you just start to notice little things after a while. That is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, let's get into uh, basement here. I said, really haven't touched anything down here. There probably would be like maybe 50 pieces of reclaimed wood, something like that, maybe total. Not a ton. Nothing I really need, though. Okay, but let's go check the purse. I've got about four drawers of this. We got a bear hide, 20 cured guts, some cured leather, a bunch of newspaper rolls because I'm too lazy to break them down. And we got about six birch saplings already. Two more bear hides. 22 more gut. Three actually, I actually found three cured maple together. Uh, I think it was out kind of by three strikes. It was like kind of weird. I'm like, three maple? I'm like, really? Uh, but then we got, this one will get kind of funny. I've got four cured wolf pelts. And we got 70 cloth from uh, what I picked up from the house. Four more wolf pelts. I kind of did go on a spree for a while. Couldn't help it. And then we got another bear hide, another six cured gut, another maple zapling, and another wolf pelt. So that actually is quite, quite a bit. Just gonna watch out a little bit. Oh, it is, it is kind of cold. Wait a minute, I'm actually gonna make some more old man beard uh, wound dressing. There's a buddy Chester again. I haven't shown this up. This is actually a really easy way. Uh, I'm not going to do it actually now because I, I don't need 30 kilograms of meat. That would be overkill. But if you do just actually get... Uh, if you get them right here... God, this is so tempting right now. Yeah, don't get too close because you know he does have that charge pretty close. But you can't actually get him... And half the time you can get him to stand up. Uh, if you do it, just, if you just get him enough, he'll actually come up here, stand up, and just put an arrow right in his chest. You can drop him right here. But I would definitely actually just bleed him out. If you can get an arrow into him, or a bullet, just one, one will do. Just get him bleeding, and he'll keep it. And usually he'll keep out here. Oh God! All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, keep out here. Yeah, he'll drop right here. Easy harvest, easy kill. There he is. Happy little guy. Isn't he? Huh. Yeah, that's a, just an easy, easy meal. You can actually do that about... You won't even use a full arrow. It'll just use percentages of an arrow. Uh, and that will give, be your food for an entire month. So one arrow, theoretically, does last you about... About half a year almost, uh, if you do do it right. I mean, that, that's, that's actually pretty nice. It really is. That does kind of shoot survival time through the roof, though. Okay. I should probably get some clothes on, though, because I know it is it's still pretty cold. Woo! Yeah, hypothermia. They did nerf that a little bit, but it's still... Uh, Something you don't want to mess with. If you don't have the supplies, you're not in the right spot, that can become uh, pretty lethal pretty fast. How much water I do have? You got a three liters on me. That's more than enough. Probably a little too much, but if we're just going around the house, it's not a big deal. One thing is why I do walk around naked in the house is because you're only at one degree uh, inside, so you can actually avoid a lot of that wear and tear on the clothes. The daily degradation, as it were. There we go. that blizzard did take off a little. I think they did increase that a little bit because I lost four percent right off the top of that uh, toque. So that uh, it did hurt a little bit. 
Actually, I might repair that. Uh, I do have quite a bit of uh, wolf hide, so we could probably repair that coat up a little bit. Got a base temp about 18 degrees in here. That's not too shabby. Okay, so let's get over here. around here I'm gonna have to ah. go away Chester go away bad touch bad touch god that's kind of dangerous gotta be careful you could actually be uh, theoretically outside right outside when I go out so that could be a bad time so I might do is uh Nine degrees in here. We'll be plenty warm. I might just uh, fix this while we're down here. I do need one gut. Now lately with the bears, I really haven't been doing too much of the gut. I'm getting a bear about once a month. I haven't been doing too much of the gut because I've already got so much. Really, just don't need to think I need a stockpile. So let's go into repair. Two hours. Well, no, it's understandable. I wouldn't even imagine how he does this. I'm down to one stone kit and a fishing tackle, which you can use as well. Plenty of stone kits still out there. So we're 94%. So that was two degrees uh, plus there. Ooh, nice. All right. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Oh, I don't have any rabbit. Oh, that's tempting. So I might just wait a bit. I might just wait a bit on the rabbit getting more rabbits. Because that's just more meat I gotta get. And it's just... Man, just dealing with that much uh, cooked meat is just a hassle. So I'll have to basically, it'll be really interesting to see if we do see the food poisoning get cured this update. Side here. Okay. What's that bloody doing? So I was gonna make some more. Uh, how many do I have with the old man beards like it anyway? I think I could make one more. So let's go actually go make one more. Apologies, I... I meant to do that while I was down there and I totally got sidetracked. It does happen from time to time. Okay, so let's just get out here. Get back down. We'll all keep an eye on him. Just in case. We'll go make another old man beard spoon dressing. That'd be nice to have. Uh... I'm usually too lazy to do the home remedy stuff, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, it takes three old man bears like in one bandage, so at least we have at least three of those now, then another bandage, so pretty covered medical-wise in case anything bad does happen. I've actually been quite good on the wolf encounters lately if I do have to fight them, but that I do uh, survive pretty easily. A while back, I actually did have a 1% save. It was actually, it's a lot tougher to do a 1% save now. Because I was out, I was in the coastal highway. I was giving a tour of the, of all the maps again on Twitch. Which, of course, I actually, by, by when you get up to the, leading up to the ravine from coastal highway. About a little uh, trailer. And you're, again, you're going actually into the ravine from coastal highway. Uh, there was actually a wolf right on the train tracks up there. Never seen one up that high up there before, right? Like right in that spot. I was actually at about like 50% or something. He got me really good. He just, uh, like he just appeared out of the fog and he was like right there and it just, uh, was not a good time. So it was about 1% when I got there. Yeah, see, it's just any side of the house you're at, it's, it's a 
Okay, so we got about two hours of daylight left. Okay. I think I would want to do anything right now. Let's, um, getting a tad late in the day. I think I'm the problem with the the mid game, like you're in the grindy part of the the run. There is kind of a severe lack to do. I mean, a lot of people like they they just, they just go exploring when you're new to the game, but I I have seen everything. I I have I uh, still beautiful, still beautiful, but I have seen quite a bit. More than one man should probably see. All right, let's actually head back inside for the night. We're going to start out fresh in the morning. For 137 days, I'm getting a little uh, crazy. I've got my piece of meat for the night anyway. Yeah, we'll just call it a night after. Yeah, we'll just say he turned in early. That's all I really need to do. But what was that base temp? 20 degrees. It's I can get up to about 23. Optimal lifting at 100% with the best clothes. I'm not too shabby for what I have. Really, the only thing that's kind of suffering is a little bit is the boots, and the, that's kind of down there, but it's not horrible. But the boots could definitely use some work. But that's just more deer hide I gotta get. It's just uh, more things to kill. I really wanted to, I could probably just hibernate down for a month. Uh, we'll grind up the time some more. Actually, let's go about two hours. I like to try to keep this schedule here. I think it's just so he doesn't lose his mind. More than enough calories there. Let's we'll do 11 hours. We don't have too much going on, so there's no reason to really get up that early in the morning. And the main reason I'm kind of just plotted out here is uh, I do believe the transition area will probably be out in Pleasant Valley. A pretty good chance. I've actually got multiple uh, Lawn Dark games going, so I'll be able to... I have kind of somebody situated in every round of... Uh, any area I might suspect it'll be at, so it'll be pretty easy for me to go find the area once it does uh, drop. That's kind of the plan. We're about at actually two updates, uh, major updates away from story mode. Uh, so it actually is pretty coming pretty quickly. Uh, there'll be a couple little minor updates be between, but it'll be by the end of the year that the game will be finished, of course. But it's coming up pretty quickly, so I do suspect Survivor AI will be in this update. More likely will be severely experimental, so there'll probably need to be a lot of tweaking with that. That's a pretty major component uh, for story mode. We'll need to get my clothes on. Probably a good idea when you're going outside. So 20 degrees inside, that's, that's pretty good. I wish I could pick up all these blocks that don't really trip and break my neck at this point. Okay. Much water just in case. Eh, we're doing. I'll pick up one more just in case. You never know. Okay, let's head out. It might be a little chilly. It might be a little chilly. It's still pretty early in the morning. Probably around 8 in the morning, I would say. It's. Pretty, pretty early. Yeah, negative six. But negative six is, it's kind of bearable. Did I just make a bear pun? I think I did. Oh, there's another deer, actually. God, I don't need it, but, well. There's actually no wolves on that side of the map right now because I, it'll be a couple more days before they come back. I haven't actually managed to be able to clear that out. Okay, what I want to do is, I really want to get him, uh, yeah, there's one wolf. I want him to come to me. Actually, let's 
stealth up. There'll probably be a much better chance of me hitting it with a rifle. Definitely. My, my rifle shooting is a little bit better than my bow shooting. But we are roughing it now. Still not 100% sure. I'm not sure if my, but my bow is about at 66%. So it's a little bit degraded. I'd like to see how... Let's show off how close you can actually get in stealth. They're going to fix this, I believe. Because I can actually get pretty crazy close. I mean, this is kind of redonkulously close. Crap. I hesitated too long. No, what are you doing? Go. They call me Runs with uh, Deer. My, that's my name. Come on, just settle down. Settle down. Pick where you're going to be. Heck, I might just try about running you into uh, the wolves over there. Maybe do my work for me. Yeah, you can stealth ridiculously close, but uh, walking straight up anywhere even remotely near them normally will send them off. The deer tend to spook a little too easy, but that's actually pretty natural. It's the wolf from more over there that way, so it's not doing me... Actually, let's try to go up here. Might try to go for a trick shot or something. Creep a little bit. Oh, where'd he go? Dang it. Oh, he is sneaky. I'm not entirely sure. Unless he ran, I must have spooked him when I was on the bridge or something, and he changed directions. Arr! That's alright. I don't really need it, but it'd be nice. We can't check along this area, because there actually is a lot of, uh... They do kill a lot of deer out here, the wolves do. Pick up some sticks while we're at it. Stick, another stick. Branches, I'm actually just too lazy to break down branches. I don't think I've ever had a problem. Uh, sticks have saved my life before, but I've never actually been enough that I'm like, oh man, I need two more sticks. I don't think I've had that happen yet. The statin, uh, harvesting does tend to trigger a blizzard half the time in stalker mode at least, so. Kind of hesitant in doing it unless I have to. Yeah, there is a deer. Do we have a wolf nearby? Oh, we do. We do. Well, we'll head about on to the left a little bit. Try to send him forward. I'd just like to get these boots repaired up a little bit better. 
And here's the one thing we do have a little bit of a problem with, at least myself. I'm just using the bow anyway. Okay. And hopefully should send him into uh, the danger zone as it were. Get, get, get. Okay. So now what we're going to do is this should be setting up easy. Uh, I didn't actually have any matches on me. That's one thing you should check. Doesn't be a long fire, but just long enough. Maybe like an hour. I should have enough sticks on me. I'm pretty sure that he got I went after that deer. Okay, we only have a couple minutes. Nice fire going. I think, pretty sure. Whoa, 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 okay. Now this is kind of a little bit unfair. Oh, gee, really? <laughs> That's, uh, I gotta lean a little bit more to the right, I think. There you go. I did not just hear another one, did I? And why did I actually just kill him again? I'm not entirely sure. I'm just... Oh, I'm the reason we can't have nice things. Where'd he go? Okay. Can I get my arrow back? Thank you. Yeah, hopefully he'd be the one that... Whoa, there actually was four out here today. God, I don't want to attract another one, though. Crap. Oh, this is going to turn into a thing, isn't it? Go, 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 go. Come on. And another one. All right. Okay. This is so this is so not my usual style. I just want one freaking deer hide, that's all I want. And again! And again. Well, we don't have to worry about wolves for a while, do we? Come on. Wow. I am a mass murderer. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you know what? While we're at it, let's just, let's do this. No, no, let's actually just, no, stop, stop. Not necessary. Not really necessary. Okay, wow, nine kilogram. Oh, plus probably about another 12 off those three wolves. I'm not really gonna mess with the gut pie too much. That takes that'll take at least forty minutes. We'll actually go get the hide and that meat off there. And hopefully no blizzard. I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna huff and puff and blah. I don't think you're gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna go get these hides off. This is the main thing I'm worried about. Meat's almost kind of secondary at this point. I could actually probably make about two spare wolfskin jackets. Uh, Wolfton coach just in case. Okay. Got all that. Let me hydrate real quick. And carry about three more. 
Oh, you, you're 0% frozen, so proximity to the fire is still good. We'll harvest that one. So we got about. Uh, we'll have to take some of this back. We're going to come back for that. I'm going to need this. I actually think I am carrying two hunting knives right now. I just. For some reason, I feel safer with two hunting knives. So let's head back. I do apologize. That was a little bit of excess killing, even for me. But. Uh, it does make uh, any time exploring out here a little bit safer for at least a couple days. I'll we'll have the other one to live. I don't. I really don't like to kill in this game unless we have to. But that was a pretty easy opportunity for me to clear out the area. Yeah, hopefully they'll come up with some kind of mechanic where the wolves will actually be smart enough not to just stand in front of the fire like that. I, I feel it's starting to feel kind of bad. But that is a neat little trick if you do uh, find yourself in trouble. Yeah, even if especially it comes in t uh, handy with the dam, if you just throw that in the hallway uh, with uh, Fluffy in the dam, he can't get past it. Easy, easy shot. You cannot miss that. Okay, I'm going to go throw this. In the fridge. I'll probably throw that in the cabinet. I don't know if we have enough room in the fridge. I will get all the meat, though. I just can't. I cannot not get it. I know, I know it's a little bit of meat greed, but... I... I think the danger is pretty minimal for that. I'm probably going to skip the gut, though. That's going to take at least three to four hours, and I don't really need it. It could be argued I don't need the meat, but the meat goes a lot faster, actually. Okay. Got about 22. Right, let's see if there's anything I can drop. drop that obviously so that's another two but let's see what else we have or one of those hunting knives uh, the other stuff is pretty minor stuff I'm not really we could make a couple trips out there like it'll kill me get a little exercise I'm pretty sure uh, well Mackenzie's getting a little fat at this point we're gonna go drop those hides out Start the curing right away. Just remember, you can only do that in indoors places. At the moment, you can't. Don't container it. it it's got to be on the floor indoors. Uh, patio does count. It's technically an interior. Uh, get that fresh deer hide. That's what I need. There we go. Wow. Okay. I am a monster. I guess let's head over. Ooh, another deer. Ugh. <laughs> when does the killing stop? Oh, uh, I can't help it. It's hard to just get a, a nice stockpile of wolves. Getting, killing wolves is easy. It's really one of the easiest things to do. Finding a good deer. Now that's a tough one. Like myself, I find like finding the deer is about the toughest thing. Everything else pretty easy to kill, but the deer sometimes a pain in the butt. Not so much with the rifle, but yeah, with the bow, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Okay, pretty easy to see where we need to go. Three wolves li all lined out next up to each other. Oh. Got all the hides. I'm gonna say no to the gut. Yeah, he's gotta make tactical decisions like that in this game. Uh, it's just not worth uh, the effort, I think. Not worth the risk. Getting caught out here longer in case of a blizzard. Not really worth it. That other wolf got smart and he wandered off. He saw this and I'm like, I am out of here. Hey. Okay. Oh, alright. 
Okay, that one's done. Oh god, this one's actually pretty chunky. Are you frozen yet? Oh, you're still only 18% frozen, so... Let's go get this one. It's not blizzard yet today, so I'm kind of hesitant because it's going to happen sooner or later. What's my weight? 25. So we can't grab this one. Uh, I don't want to come back for the deer. There's uh, no other way. What's the temp? Nine, only 9 degrees. That's still... Okay, getting back at that. I actually just cut it out for a second. I just, uh, said just a little bit of the walk. And we just got back. I did grab, uh, I need to grab the rest of that wolf. And yeah, we'll put that... I wanted to open up another cabinet or something. I could just throw that in the cabinet in the... Uh, entryway there, I guess. That is full. Okay. Yeah, I do actually have about, uh, I think... How many rifles do we have right now? Yeah, we do have three at least, I believe. And I actually, there's two more out there that I've not even picked up yet. Just, uh, so many rifles, so many rifles. I don't think I even looked at all the rifle spawns yet. Uh, all, quite all of them. Okay. Let's head back. Get the last one to cook it up. I don't know what we're going to do with all that meat. I'll probably actually will stop killing for a while once I get those uh, deer. Once I get the deer skin high, the, the boots back up. Really won't have to need to kill for quite a while. Oh, he's tempting though. He's tempting. Dang it, alright. I can't help it. I have a problem. Let's see if we can cut. Let's see if we can meet. Though our crouch is pretty dang slow. I need one to be really, like really, really, really close. Dang it. Oh, he's actually stuck. Dang it. Ah, crap. Ah! What my arrow? Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh, 5% too. Dang it. How do you miss a shot like that? Look at my stat. I am a little bit fatigued. I guess that could attribute to that. And this bow, I think I do need to make a new bow. Probably about 60% or so. So it is probably getting about time. That's going to be my excuse for missing such an easy shot. Ah! It's okay. We didn't need it. It wasn't life or death. Practice, practice, practice. That's always what I preach. I think there's been enough killing today. Let's head up, get that deer meat, and then we'll get out of here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my god, a zombie deer. A zombie deer. No. Hey, you're frozen, right? Okay, hatchet. Get all that up, and then we'll cook that up when we get back. Probably close out the episode, I think. Uh... 
Oh, oh, hey, buddy. No, I just got here. I don't uh, know what happened to these guys. It kind of looks like a suicide pack to me. I. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so let's head back. A couple days. We've quite a bit of killing. It's too shabby. It's about five degrees, so I might actually just take a second to hydrate. Yeah, we're getting a little tired. Just remember that does affect your bow aim and everything. If you're tired and cold. Me and Spectre out having a low quality bow is not helping either. I should have had that shot. Still kind of kicking myself a little bit. Pretty good safe zone, so I think there's like one wolf on each side that's alive right now, so not much can go wrong. Definitely one of the places I recommend is a base just because you got such a safe zone. You don't have to worry about too much. If you just set up a rabbit snare, you can live off rabbit. Uh, even if you don't really have good clothes or anything, you can just, uh, you can, you can, you can make out an existence just on Rabbit, uh, itself. So that sound of the, the wind and metal shrieking of the house. There we go. Inside here. Probably actually just use some of the reclaimed wood since it's a bunch of dime a dozen right now. We have quite a bit. God, these matches are just going so bad. I mean, match degradation is still pretty bad, I think. It's just not lasting as long as I, I would think it would, but not much we can do about that. Okay, let's pick up a couple pieces first so we don't have to worry. Yeah, if you do a light with a stick. Good chance of lighting much better, but you only got a couple minutes, so you gotta be on ball. Three minutes, yeah. Grab a little bit more, actually. Just a little bit, even bit more than that. I think it's gonna take a while to cook. It's about probably 10 to 20 minutes a piece, so it's gonna take a while. Cook. Yeah, I'm never gonna be able to eat all this. Uh, I might have to start eating two things a day. I don't know. Once I get this point, everything's at like 10 per. All the meat's at 10 percent. You can just never eat it enough. Because actually, if you do get interrupted while you're eating at 2,500 calories currently now, it actually will give you food poisoning. That's the only way you can usually get it. Raw currently right now. So I have to stop just before I hit 2,500. Get all this cooked. No idea where we're gonna put it, but okay, do I have any room? I do have a little bit of room. Okay. 
get the stuff in the cabinet. Oh, that's fine. That's... We'll just cook a couple pieces, then I'll get rid of it. Well, it shouldn't take too long. I'm never worried about getting exhausted in the inner uh, living room. Okay. Pay close attention to that fire. It might be getting down to time. Okay, well, so let's go get. It's kind of nice. Here. It is nice that they have all this stuff break. The furniture breaking down because I usually trip over a chair about here. Always kind of annoyed me. Okay, you're full. Tired, aren't you? Wow. Uh, maybe we should actually just put some of this in that cabinet right there. Don't want to get exhausted that quickly. Get that cooked up. I guess I should just start leaving meat outside for Chester. And I can tame a bear. It's a blizzard, never mind. Well, yeah, so much for that. It was a nice thought, though. It was really a nice thought. And the blizzard's over now. Oh, that's good. Oh, and you're actually full. Kind of hilarious, kind of hilarious. up in that cabinet now. I'm getting actually super tired, actually. Ah, you know what? I might just... Dang it. Give me a couple pieces. I'm getting too tired, I think. Just, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. I'm tired. All right. I think it's time for a Snickers. Cumbered again, it's getting a little worse. Uh, well, we do an abundance of matches, so it's not a big deal. Why don't we just go? Yeah, let's go do this in the morning. Finish that up. I don't see the point of killing myself for that. So let's head to remember to container these clothes. Okay, get that done. Bear meat, 50%. Yummy. Just scrape the green off. You'll be okay. Alright, so let's actually go about 11 hours. A 
Really no plans. If we don't go in tomorrow, I don't think it would hurt at all. Okay, day 139. Oh. Make sure you hydrate, kids. Make sure you bring a towel. Okay. a lot of work if I just actually take my clothes off before we started cooking, but that's a little dangerous, I think. Okay, that's the last of it. Start with the stick there. I think I have about a dozen, actually a dozen wolf hides right now. That That is a little creepy. I could make a wolf, uh, wolf tent. It'd be nice to have a couple more deer hides in reserves in case, but... Okay. Cooking this up. pieces I think. It's getting a little we get a little too close. I know I'm still being frugal on the matches, but I am very cheap in the long dark. I can't help it. That's how we survive. Done then, all right. So we've got any more in that uh, cabinet there. Can actually get that all in there. About two left. I try to keep it all in the same kind of area just so I don't forget about it. But I'm not going to be able to fit all that. That's just, just way too much. There's about five kilograms in there, plus the 15. 60, about 70. We've got about 75 kilograms of meat now. At day 139. Clothes are looking pretty decent. I would say. So we're sitting in a pretty good uh, sweet spot for the run, I think. Uh, definitely not touching a lot of the map. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, we'll be bringing you uh, the update. I will probably uh, actually be out of country. Uh, I want to do my laptop, so I want to actually probably just be aware that it's probably not going to be on the same run because each game does save your hard drive, so it's not a cloud save, unfortunately. Uh, so I will be probably bringing a fresh run uh, on the new map. Depends on when it drops. I might be back in the country, we'll have to see. Uh, but hopefully, I will be continuing this run up until uh, before the update, though. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will be continuing our. Uh, uh, looks like there's shaping out to be a long run here in the long dark. Uh, yeah, super awesome run as always. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. I should go. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? What can I do for you?